not an app of so the week. so building on your um this is this is because I went down your rabbit hole a while ago. Uh-oh. Um this is an app. It's called Identify. It's lowercase i capital D E N T I F. Sorry, my si- I'm sorry, my me? stitcher was running. Oh, no problem. Oh, I apparently um, bumped something. Um, so identify is a Mac app. So it's in the, it's in the Mac app store. Um, it's $9 and 99 cents. I know that's probably seems extremely expensive. Whoa, to whoa, some. whoa, whoa, whoa. High dollar there. Look at you money bags. <laughs> um, but what I will say this app does is if you are like myself and had a back catalog of many, 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 many movies and TV shows and files, mm. um, you actually just drag and drop them all into this application. Okay. It goes out and queries IMDB and a, and a bunch of various other internet databases and pulls in every piece of metadata for your files. Um, so when you were talking about a movie, it actually throws in all the actors. It throws in... Wow. You can actually pick, you can actually pick the DVD covers from around the world. So if you want like Ooh, all um, Japanese, <laughs> like if you wanted the Japanese cover for mall rats, no, yes, I do. <laughs> you could throw that on your mall. Yes, we copy. do. This is happening. So, so nine ninety nine doing it. So the cool thing is, and what you were talking about was that, you know, maybe it got some wrong. Maybe it didn't get certain things right. Um, as you go through, you can either say, you know, I'm going to roll the dice and let it let it just rip through and save all the data. Mm-hmm. Or you can tell it and, and go through and approve each one. And when you go through and approve each one, you can um, you can pick the different cover art and you can validate some of the data. Um, the other thing that you can do with it is <clears throat> if it can't figure out what it is and you know it exists on IMDb or some of these other sites you can actually throw in the link and it will actually then pull in all that information from that IMDB entry. Nice. Um, you can also set it as it saves through, especially, and this is especially useful for, um, for multiple seasons of a TV show. You can actually tell it to rename all of the files into like lost space S O one for season one space E O one so it does episode one. So and you can do it, a format. You so, can, so you can have it auto reformat doing. files. It, it's this application is amazing. Yeah. Relatively simple. It's not splashy by, mm-hmm. by the looks of it on the screenshots here. They didn't even blow up the screenshots <laughs> and they just obscured the desktop for whoever this is. Um, I I've used apps like this for music in the past. Mm-hmm. Um, there's, there's been several of them over the years and they would go through and, 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 um, and compare them to Grace Note, or what, is it still called Grace Note these days? Is the, I, the the former C, uh, CD database, mm-hmm. uh, CDDB, D-D. I believe, uh, I think became Grace Note, and that got bought by somebody. I can't remember right now. Uh, but but no, so very very similar. It's interesting that IMDb has become the the database for this kind of thing, and it's owned by Amazon. Oh, I didn't know that. As you will know, if you go look up Man in the High Tower or Man in the High Castle on imdb and it looks a little bit different than everybody else um like like a lot different than anything anybody else um uh, yeah it, it, it's it, it's interesting that's the first time that kind of reared its uh, head that amazon's like yeah we, we we completely own this actually here it is right here if you guys are on video you get this giant splash and says hey get on amazon and and and, and stream all the episodes and 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 you get some different stuff, and the, the page just looks completely different than everybody else, and different color scheme. So um, you're kind of curious. That's what happens when you own something like that. So um, they're just abusing their power. I'm, I'm looking up transparent and see that they did anything there. I know. Eh, no, that looks pretty much the same too. Do they just do a redesign, or am I just on a low resolution? I'm probably on a low resolution. Yeah, we'll just get that over here. You had to save nine ninety. Nine ninety nine seems like a barrier to entry. Um, consider what your time is worth. You probably <laughs> probably get your time back the first two times you use it to search for anything. Exactly. Oh, absolutely. And that's what that's what I can do. And it is a Mac app. I, I don't know why I was thinking you were talking an iOS app Mm-mm. for some yeah, reason. It's a Mac app. But no, it's a Mac app. Well, this is, you're not. This, you know, nine ninety nine for your phone. 
I think 10 bucks for a Mac app, dude, that's that's standard. And you can literally just drag every MPEG that you have mm. in select all open Apple a drag them on top of the app and it just fires through them. Yeah, um, it's it's pretty pretty darn cool if you ask me until you open the wrong transformers and you get mad and michael bay <laughs> michael bay it messed up on what was the one that it had a really hard time with was um a uh, scarlett johansson movie where they're clones lucy no where they're clones her and ewan mcgregor i don't know she's jordan one. 2 delta i got nothing for you sorry. nope nope <laughs> Everybody to the IMDb's. That's where I'm going. <laughs> um, no, it's um, I've been calling it Unify. Oh, hey, uh, we got we got a note from our our show noter uh, uh, Missy upstairs uh, in the upstairs office. Uh, found it and tweeted it properly. I've been calling it Unify. It's apparently Unity. Unity. Okay. Unity. Like the, you, the person. T. Uh, so sorry about that. Uh, I, I see a pop up every once in a while because it keeps checking my hard drive. Um, but you know why that's uh, more interesting is it actually it's more than just videos. It's it's actually files on your desktop. Mm-hmm. You know that that you can have accessible to. So I think there's some other use cases for that. So did you figure out the, the Scarlett Johansson movie? The Island. The it's Island. A 2005 <laughs> movie. It takes the movie takes place in the year 2019, um, where they're seemingly residents of a utopian but contained facility. Mm. Um, this controlled and, and they're in this controlled environment and go watch it because it was really, really cool. All right. When you said it had trouble, what happened? It picked them. So the island, it picked a different movie called The Island uh. um, that had, it was like a foreign movie. Um, it's like French and there's odd nudity in it. <laughs> Like, and it was like an old eighties movie. I think, yeah, it it was just completely different. It was a completely different, the Island. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm sure there's plenty of movies out there that all have the same name that, that are older. Um, I'm sure it'll get confused on things. If you just named the file Spider-Man and you knew what it was, but, um, so that, so yeah, so, but it did, it does give you the option. Like I said, I didn't notice that it picked the wrong one because I didn't realize there were multiples. Um, and when it, I just went back and you can actually go in and say, nope, I want this one. And it resaved all the data over top. And that's the problem, especially if you have a that's massive right. collection like that, mm-hmm. you're not going to know until you come around to it. Right. Mm-hmm. And, and are you, especially if you do have that mass collection, are you, let's be honest, are you really getting to every video, every movie there in, in any due time at that point? Yeah. I, mean, I mean, I cannot tell you how long it's been since I watched the V for, for Vendetta. Yet I know I watch Hackers at least once a year. So there you go. Um, I watched that the other day. I, I kind of want to watch <laughs> it again. I, I was kind of, but then again, it's that DVD sitting on the shelf. I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to deal with that. But I'm going to put it in queue. I'm going to bump it up in the queue, just like I bumped up the crow. Just like, just like I just got Akira uh, um, um, thrown in there. Um, there's a lot of playing favorites there. Sorry, honeymooners or, or honeymoon in Vegas. You're going to the bottom of the pile.